Hello and welcome beautiful souls. It brings me great joy to record another video for you. Today I would like to introduce to you an event that I'm putting together, an event that I invite you to join called the 12 Days of Love. And the 12 Days of Love is a global ascension event that I'm inviting light workers from across the world and even souls that aren't awakened yet on their path to join together to clear and transcend any fear-based thoughts, behaviours, trauma, stress, memories from the past that are in some way influencing your now, that are in some way restricting, blocking or holding you in a place of fear perhaps, or a place of self-doubt, or a place of confusion to your soul's path and your life path here right now. It's a time really to wipe the slate clean, to start again as we awaken and as we go forth fearlessly into the new golden age, which is dawning on the 21st of December, but really in essence has been in place for many years for many of us. And this global event will take place from the 1st of December all the way up to the 12th of December. And I'll be recording 12 videos, one for each day. And I'll be taking you through, with the help of the angels, self-healing, self-loving sessions for you to do, recorded as maybe 10 minute clips that you can do each day. So it won't take you long every day to do this. And in each of those 12 videos, we're gonna separate your timeline. For example, the first session that we're gonna do from the December the 1st of December, will be to give self-healing, self-love to you from the age of conception to your birth. And then from December 2nd, we're going to be giving healing to the first year you were born up until perhaps two years old, five years old, four years old. It really depends on your age right now. So if you write down your age, and then you divide it by 11, because the first session is always going to be conception to birth. Divide it by 11 to get the incremental ages that you're going to set for each session. For example, if you were 44 years old, you would set your increments for each of these days to be four years. So one to four, four to eight, all the way up to the last session on the 12th of December when you would give healing to the age of 40 up to your present moment, 44 years old. I hope you hope you get that. What I'll do, I'll write it down uh, below the video and also I'll put the event link to Facebook which you can come and join and I'll also post the videos there as well as on YouTube. So how did this uh, event come about? Well, a few months ago I was giving myself some self-healing and I was doing it with the help of the angels and I was giving myself some healing from the age of conception to birth because I'm in the process of writing a book right now and it just felt apt to go back and to give myself some healing. And that session was so profound and although it was only 10 minutes, if we think about actual time, it was only 10 minutes that I was sitting down focusing on my younger self. It had such a profound effect on my current state of being, my current awareness. And in that moment, I had such inspiration from the angels to do this worldwide, to, to, to show people how easy it is and how effective it can be to shed light on your past. Not to relive your past, not to identify with it or place judgment or or relive memories that you don't want to. Rather just with your focused intention, give love, give light, bring in the angels, bring in Reiki, whatever you wish, and just sit and hold the space for your younger self. And because we live in a free will planet, we can't go back and change physical events, the physical events that happened in our timeline. But what we can do is we can change the way that we experience them. We can go from, for instance, 
if we were bullied as a younger child, or I know I was in certain times when I was in secondary school, we can go back to those points. We can't change the bullying, but what we can do, we can change the way that that bullying affected us and is still affecting us to our present moment. And I've done this, I've done this a lot for my past, for my past issues, and I found it so cathartic, so healing, so empowering. Um, and it just feels right now that we're going towards 12, 12, 12 to help you to do the same. And I come across a lot of people, a lot of students, therapists and teachers who give, give, give out healing. But they come to me with issues that they've had for a long time, issues of fear, issues of illness, niggling things that they've had for a long time that they can't seem to to heal or transcend, accept, move through. And I've sat down and I've asked them, do you self-heal? Do you give yourself some time? Have you done some work in your, your past? And most of them say no. So we don't have to martyr ourselves to become enlightened. We don't have to give, give, give and not receive. We have to keep this balance. And 12, 12, 12 is really the point of balance. It's where the earth herself becomes in balance, ready for the processional event of the 21st of December, which we've talked about in the last video. And it's also a time for us to become into balance to let go of the things in our past that are literally holding us in the present, but holding us in a negative way, influencing us. If we have perceptions or beliefs or fears or phobias that we can't understand, perhaps they're stemming from just such a small incident, situation, experience in your past. And when we give the past light and time, healing and love, we positively influence the now. And I've had many students who have came to me because I'll give them case studies uh, in the angel system that I teach and also the Atlantean system. I'll give them case studies for them to give themselves healing from conception to birth all the way through their timeline. And it really has been beautiful to read and to hear from the students that they have finally let go of painful memories, of abuse issues, of anorexia, of hurt cycles that they're, you know, they're experiencing their relationships that haven't been serving them. And they have felt so empowered, so healthy, so positive, with a beautiful sense of gratitude for everything that they have experienced in their life. They have took time to forgive and to let go. So this is really what I want to do with you. If you have any issues that that you know, and you'll know yourself deep within your heart, there's any issues from your past that are still influencing your now, why not join in with this event? And even if this all seems like hocus pocus to you, why not join in? You have nothing to lose. And you know, this event is guided from the angels and the angels and myself, we want to for those souls that are allowing of such, we want to help as many souls as we can on this planet to ascend and to let go and to really be ready for this beautiful event, this new golden era that we're all working towards, that we're all walking to. So hopefully you'll join in. All you need to do is to set the incremental sessions. So calculate based on your age, the, the time span for each of those sessions. The 1st of December, the first one will always be from conception to birth. Now you don't have to write down anything that kind of came up. If you want to, sometimes it can be quite cathartic to do that. You can write it down or perhaps even record videos and place them on our event page or on YouTube. And let's just share with each other. And this really is the time of truth. We've been seeing in the media, um, people who've been repressing uh, stories, all these stories have been coming up. I know lots of my friends have been going through shifts in their relationships and dramas in their family and people who've been not saying things that they, they felt that they, they wanted to say have, are now uh, 
getting the confidence to say it and it's causing all this drama and there's a lot of conflict there's 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 a lot going on and because we're all wakening up to our truth and we're all starting to speak more our truth and this is a good thing so if you feel that you want to express yourself either writing it down or to do a video like this by all means do that through your sessions um, other things that you can use you can use crystals if you want I've got some crystals like selenite which is really good to use when you do some self healing or Larimar Larimar is a really good crystal to work with to increase a sense of forgiveness and self-worth because ultimately the root cause of disease and stress I really do think comes from lack of self-worth or lack of self-love so 12 days of love this event is really going to put back into you anything that perhaps um, anything perhaps that, 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 that needs the boost so that's what we're going to do also you can use mangano calcite or pink opal again these are really good crystals to hold when you're doing your sessions or clear quartz and you can also call on the angels for support as well as crystals we're going to call on on every video Archangel Metatron the angel of ascension and time as well as Archangel Uriel Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael and you can also call in your own angels you can also call in the energy of Reiki or Sikkim or shamanic energies anything that you want to anything that just feels right for you to bring in and when you do these sessions again remember to not identify with the past to not have judgment to not go back into the negative emotions of that experience rather just hold the space in love and in truth and compassion and I think that's all that I would like to introduce for the 12 days of love come over to Facebook and I'll put the link on the screen for you to join the event and that's got lots more information and hopefully it'll be a place for people to share as well their experiences of each session and I'm going to do this with you as well because I'm a firm believer in walking your talk so I'm going to do the sessions as well and if anything needs to be shared I'm going to share it and I recommend that you do the same okay but for now love and blessings and thank you for being part of